Let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Good morning, church. I'm Mark Evans, your deacon for small group ministry and children's ministries. That scripture was from Hebrews chapter 10. That letter discusses Christ's superiority in everything, including pandemics. It emphasizes complete confidence in God, or faith, also the hope in Christ that we profess so that we can endure trials, like pandemics. And it encourages peace, especially on the Facebook, and last, love that leads to good deeds. Those things are easily said, but sometimes not so easily done or remembered, especially when we are struggling with stress, joblessness, you name it. Or maybe we aren't the ones struggling, but we have friends that are, and our empathy makes us lash out. Maybe you're getting through this without a hitch, and you would love to encourage others, but you're stuck at home. Maybe you just miss your brothers and sisters in Christ. Ever thought about a small group? Sure you have. You were just too busy before all this. Children's schedules, other obligations, I get it. Or you were too uncomfortable to go to someone's house you didn't know, or meet people in somebody's house. Meet people that you didn't know in somebody else's house. Especially in that intimate of a setting. Do you have time now? Well, Mark, maybe I do, but things are getting ready to open back up. I won't have time then. Maybe you're right. But do you have time now? I would love to see all of you worshiping and encouraging each other in small groups. These groups can meet virtually to start and then maybe pr progress to meeting in person, depending on government regulations or the decisions that your group makes. It's all fluid right now. Maybe groups that meet virtually are something a lot of you are interested in and we just never thought about it. Whatever the case, will you take that step? Would you like to help others? Do you just miss your brothers and sisters? Let us know in the survey that the church sent out or send me an email. My email address is in the regular emails that go out from the church. I'll also try and make sure that I'm tagged in this video on Facebook and you can send me a private message if you'd like to. Let's meet together in order to stir each other up in love and encourage each other. While we're at it, if you notice a need in the church or the community, address it. Sound something like the scripture I read to you at first? Maybe I just rephrased it. But seriously, what other scriptures can I find to guilt or encourage you to look at small groups? How about Ephesians 4, 15 and 16? Rather speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. Or Galatians 6, 2 bear one another's burdens, and fulfill the love of Christ. How about James 5, 16? Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. 1 Thessalonians 5, 11 says to encourage one another and build one another up. All reasons we meet as groups, to encourage each other, to build each other up, to bear each other's burdens. As I ask you one more time to consider small groups, I leave you with the words of the man we're studying right now, David, from Psalm 133. Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. May your day be a blessing. God bless.